And then you're going to say to me, but Jason, how will you ever stay in shape if you're going to go camping for six months? I'll tell you how. Give me a banana. It's time to go monkeying around at the playground. Welcome to camping vlog number three. I'm going to show you six easy exercises you can do in almost any playground. Don't go anywhere. As you can see, six exercises you can do just about anywhere. Finding the pull-up bar is the hard part, but exercise is only 20% of it. Diet is 80%. And uh, the kitchen is where I work my magic. I'm super disciplined when it comes to diet. And um, I loosely follow the keto diet and loosely do a gluten-free diet. 
So, I'm gonna show you three easy camping meals you can do that are fairly low in carbs, will keep you full throughout the day, and keep you lean while you're on vacation. Don't go anywhere. Alright, I'm back in the camper to show you some of the recipes I use while I'm camping and still try to stay fit. Um, I mentioned that diet is 80% of the equation and it, it definitely is. I uh, pay very close attention to my carbohydrate intake and don't get me wrong, when I cheat on my diet I can smash an entire large Papa John's pizza which is 300 grams of carbs and it takes me two and a half days to get rid of that bloated feeling. So I don't pay attention to calories, I don't pay attention to fat, I actually prefer um, a high fat intake, high fat, medium protein, low carb, and um, so oatmeal is, is kind of high in carbs, um, but while I'm camping I don't mind it because it's, a, it's kind of a healthy carbohydrate, so I'm going to give you a quick recipe on how I do my oatmeal. Let me turn the cam camera around real quick. Alright, here we go. I'm not going to actually assemble it because um, I'm assuming you already know how to do that. But So how I do it is I uh, get, definitely get the old-fashioned oats, half a cup of old-fashioned oats. Instead of water or milk, I actually use cream, half and half, which is low in carbs, high in fat, which is the way I like it. And then what I like to do is, um, so half a cup of oats, half a cup of cream. And then I like to do about a quarter of a teaspoon or a few pinches of pink sea salt. And I like to do a big tablespoon of real butter and a teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of Truvia or Stevia I guess. Um, Stevia is the blend with Truvia. So then I typically throw mine in the microwave but if you don't have a microwave you would obviously heat up the cream and then add it after you've assembled all the ingredients but that is what I eat in the mornings for breakfast keeps me full and keeps my diet on point so it's lunchtime and I'm gonna keep it simple once again I like to include some proteins some fats low carbs so this is what I've got planned I like to do some type of beef jerky whether it's a beef stick or actual beef jerky something along those lines um, this is a Tillamook beef stick looks like it's about uh, an ounce and a half and then I like to do half a cup of deluxe mix nuts. I don't like the peanuts because they're not actually a nut, they're actually a legume. And for me they don't digest as well as these deluxe mix nuts, so I just go to Walmart. The almonds, cashews, pistachios, pecans, and macadamia nuts. They're all loaded with good proteins and good fats. And then to drink, um, from Amazon I got this tea sampler. And uh... Spiced chai, English tea time, something along those lines to change it up, egg noggin, yeah, green tea with mint. So, I'll turn this camera around. So, for some of you that are used to doing Qdoba or Subway or whatever you might do for lunch, that probably seems like a a little bit of a ridiculous lunch but it is actually packed with energy low carbs I eat it almost every day and it always gives me good energy if I go to Subway if I go to Qdoba or Quiznos I tend to have an, my energy dips right around 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock and when I eat uh, lunch like this with my mixed nuts and my beef jerky and my tea uh, my energy level doesn't dip at all so try it a day or two see if it works for you hopefully this has been helpful and then for dinner, we're going to head outside over the campfire, do some brats over the fire, and uh, do some baby carrots, and some mozzarella cheese. Got a big block of it right here. I don't know if you know this or not, but a block of mozzarella cheese is gluten-free, whereas shredded cheese is not gluten-free. So I try to stick to the blocks of cheese if possible. So I'll do a nutritional calculator for you. We can track how many carbs this the daily intake would be 
and um, it's just a good starting point really if you don't like brats or if you don't like cheese or whatever you can tweak it but the trick is really to keep the preparation simple and keep the carbs low so I hope this has been helpful I'm gonna head outside to the campfire now So the brats cooked pretty great over the fire. They are a bit heavier than than a hot dog or a marshmallow, so I would recommend a hot dog roasting stick, heavy duty one. But uh, they're obviously got a decent amount of fat to it, so they sparked up a bit in the campfire. But overall, it went fairly smooth. They're going to be extra delicious, and I hope this has been helpful. Dinner is served. Two brats, some mozzarella cheese, baby carrots and maybe a beer to go with it. Without exaggeration, those were the best brats I have ever had. Sarah's sausage, it says. I got them in town. Um, got them in town in Florence, actually. Florence, Colorado, it's called. And I'm going to turn this camera around again. Highly recommend those brats. I don't know where you can get them at, but they were delicious. So, the perfect thing about these meals is uh, with breakfast, the only thing that needs to be refrigerated. Is the half and half I never refrigerate my butter and then for lunch the beef sticks doesn't need to be refrigerated mixed nuts obviously don't need to be refrigerated and then for dinner the only thing that needs to be refrigerated is the brats cheese is actually better at room temperature and doesn't need to be refrigerated and then obviously your carrots don't need to be refrigerated so that's the whole goal is to just find stuff that you don't have a, typically have a ton of refrigerator space and so these little tips and tricks hopefully have been helpful for you this has been camping vlog number three, the Nash Potatoes Outdoor Show. As you know, I'm coming to you all month from Mountaindale RV Resort in Colorado Springs. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. We will see you next time.